I soon learned more about Lobo's mate from the shepherds. They call her Blanca because of her white coat, and they say she leads Lobo a merry dance. This tallies with the tracks I saw at the creek, and has suggested a way to catch her. Let's see if that's the right side. That's good, that's good. Right there. Cunningly, Seaton first placed traps rather obviously around a dead cow, guessing that Lobo would stop and try to disarm them. While he was thus diverted, Seaton hoped that Lobo's mate Blanca would run on to investigate the head of the cow which Seaton had cut off and put to one side. It could only be approached through a narrow passage between rocks, and it was here that Seaton planted several of his best traps, properly deodorized and concealed with the utmost care. Wednesday, January 24th. This evening, I am more excited and yet more anxious than I have been in three long months. Try as I might, I cannot get to sleep. The following morning, Seaton went up the canyon, hoping that at last he had struck a blow against Lobo. He was in luck. Blanca had walked right into his trap. According to Seaton, Lobo remained close by, reluctant to leave his mate. But it would have been suicide to stay and face the men's guns. Seaton would later recoil from what he called the inevitable tragedy that followed. But the plain fact is, he was here to do a job. He was here to kill wolves. 